So Microsoft has released a new feature to Windows 11 called full screen experience. If you're a hardcore gamer, I think you're going to love this new feature. Think of this as a whole new desktop environment just for gaming. So let me show you guys how this works and why I think it's actually a good feature if you're a gamer. So just recently, Microsoft announced that they're going to be releasing the full screen experience for Windows 11. First, it's going to be available for insiders. It's already out for the insiders in dev and beta channel. So I have the Windows 11 insider preview build installed here, and this is a full screen experience. If you have used a Xbox before, then, you know, it will be familiar to you. And this is basically what full screen experience is. Now, there are a couple of interesting things about this full screen experience. If I do Windows plus tab, or if you're connected to the Xbox controller, you can press on the Xbox button. Here at the bottom, you can see uh, we are in the Xbox full screen experience. Okay. And we also have the option to switch to Windows desktop. So basically, there are two different desktop environments now. The Windows desktop environment isn't actually fully loaded and you can choose to use your PC that way if you want to or you can have both desktop environments loaded. I've set this to launch at the startup, the full screen uh, experience. So whenever I turn on my computer, it just goes to the full screen experience. So it's fully optimized just for gaming, less uh, resource usage and all that. So let me actually switch to Windows desktop and you'll see it will take time to load the Windows desktop. So I'm going to click in there and it says switching to Windows desktop, use mouse and keyboard and all that. Okay, so I'm going to click continue. Oh, it loaded faster. Yesterday I was testing this, the Windows desktop environment was taking longer to load. So if I try to go Xbox full screen again by clicking on the Xbox full screen option, you'll see restart for better performance. When you restart your PC to go for the full screen experience, it will optimize your windows just for gaming. Okay, but when you switch to the regular Windows desktop, there will be no performance changes. Okay, basically what Microsoft is trying to say here with this prompt, restart so it will have better full screen experience with less things running in the background so we can actually choose both desktop environments at the same time okay no big deal but again you can see when we try to go for gaming mode they should change the name of this thing actually gaming mode or something okay that will make more sense actually so if you want the better performance microsoft recommends you to restart your pc so i'm gonna click on restart Okay, now you'll see after restarting, it will actually go straight to the full screen experience. Okay, it's restarted. Let me log in. Now, as soon as I log in, you can see launching Xbox. Now you have fully optimized Windows 11 just for gaming and there will be no distraction uh, coming from your desktop. Okay. I think that's what Microsoft is trying to do with this new feature, making a space just for gaming and optimizing everything so nothing can distract you while you're gaming. Now, there are a couple of ways you can use this. If you open the task view here, you'll see a new option called Xbox full screen experience. You can also use that from here. If you go to settings and then gaming here, you'll see full screen experience option. So you can set up your full screen experience here. So choose home app. Right now, the home app is Xbox. Since we have option to choose here, I think the third party apps might be able to do something like this. Optimize the windows just for gaming. Right now, it's from the Microsoft Xbox. So what I'm thinking is that maybe in future, some geek will make a full screen experience like thing for Windows that will do even better optimization just for gaming. So since we have this option to choose, okay, right now we only have the Xbox, maybe in future, uh, something like Steam will have this option. Okay. So here we can turn on the uh, full screen at startup. Again, if you're using your PC just for gaming and you want the best performance, yeah, this is what Microsoft recommends. But again, you can also use 
uh, the Windows desktop environment and the full screen experience simultaneously. If, and again, if you want the better experience, you should restart and just use the full screen experience. And I'm excited for what the community brings to this feature. Again, we have the option to choose which apps home we want in full screen experience. Maybe some third party apps will do even better optimization than Xbox. In my opinion, yeah, this is kind of like a desktop environment. So when we are in the full screen experience, I'm pretty sure there are less background processes running in the background. I think that is the reason why Microsoft recommends us to restart our PC uh, if we want to use the full screen experience. Again, this thing is still in beta. So it's in testing phase. There might be some bugs here and there. This was actually a exclusive feature for Windows handheld devices okay the small gaming devices now it's becoming available for all gaming pcs but even if you're not a gamer you can still use this feature but this is probably going to be more useful for gamers for gamers again this will optimize your windows just for gaming and will provide better performance and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? In my opinion, I think it's a good thing. I mean, it optimizes your PC just for gaming. And that's what we need as a gamer. If you're a gamer, I think you're going to love this. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.